the eternal cycles that we call we discuss i said data eta puru makal peyad and there are eternal cycles of creation so how does that pan out okay so this figure moving on to the next slide gives you a, an overarching vedic view of the cycles of creation okay so now the vedic time scales is extremely vast yeah. if you look at the judeo christian or the modern scientific view of origin of the universe and the end of the universe it's a linear it's a line you start big bang universe appearance of species eventually the universe will go to a big crunch and finished so that's a, a linear beginning and end that's it that's the judeo christian view on this but the vedic view is slightly different we think about time uh, as a cyclical and how do we think about it so this first concept there is something called divya yugas you would have you would have all be very familiar with this satya yuga treta yuga dwapara yuga and kali yuga okay now kali yuga has got 432000 years we have just passed 5000 years long way to go so 432000 years forms the kali yuga you multiply it by 2 that becomes dwapara yuga that is 864000 you multiply 432000 times 3 that becomes treta yuga that is 1.296 million years or you multiply 432000 years by 4 that becomes 1.7 million years so this forms this four yugas form the divya yuga okay now consider you had those cycles times 71 So seventy-one divya yugas, they form what is called as one manvantara. Okay, now you take fourteen manvantaras, and then you add a few extra, you know, several million years. That becomes what is called as one day, day time for Chaturmukha Brahma. Okay, there is so if twelve hours is day time, twelve hours is night time. so that also becomes a, a night time so 12 day time 12 day 12 hours night time okay so that is called the kalpa okay so one kalpa or one day of chaturmukha brahma within one day that that 12 hours 14 manvantaras have happened okay each manvantara has had 71 divya yugas and each divya yuga you add it is like 4.32 million years is one divya yuga so now the creation and destruction of various types is believed to happen in the vedic time scales manvantara which is 71 divya yugas when one manvantara happens there is a small dissolution that happens the universe doesn't dissolve the earth will go through some major major transformation all the living species all the culture as we know it will all go away and then a new one will happen in the next manvantara okay so that's called avantara pranaya manvantara pranaya then you have the kalpa of brahma when kalpa when brahma is awake there are 14 manvantaras but when brahma has gone to sleep there is another dissolution that happens in the universe a partial dissolution of the universe and once chaturmukha brahma wakes up from night time sleep another chaturmukha brahma creation happens So this way, this one day of Chaturmukha Brahma, one year for Chaturmukha Brahma is three hundred and sixty days, and you multiply that by hundred years. So that is the total lifespan of Chaturmukha Brahma. Now the Mahapralaya, that is the complete dissolution of the universe, is believed to happen when the lifespan of this Chaturmukha Brahma comes to an end. Okay, so that is the reason why I wanted to put this slide is to tell you the the. the expanse of time that is included in vedic philosophy now some interesting points there which so what is a manvantara so manvantara is manus so there are there are 14 manus in each kalpa manus are the kids of chaturmukha brahma each manvantara has a manu okay as i said there are 14 manvantaras the current manvantara is the seventh manvantara okay and uh, it is the the manus name is vaivashvata vaivashvata manu so you would have done all this vaivashvata manvantare uh, uh, when you do all the um, you know uh, abhishekam and all that you would have said that you would have heard your uh, uh, acharya pujari doing all that so this is a vaivashvata 
one one verse. Okay, when you do sankalpa, you have this. So this is Vaivashvata Manvantara. And just to give you another point, this is the 28th Divya Yuga of the first day. So this Vaivashvata Mantra, uh, 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 this Vaivashvata Man, uh, Vaivashvata Manu has been there. 27 Divya Yugas have already happened. This is the 28th Divya Yuga and you are going through Kali Yuga at this point for this Vaivashvata Manvantara. Okay. So, to summarize, created so Manvantaras, Manus are created by Brahma. The, the, it is these Manus who actually create the species of the world. Now, the other interesting concept is in each Manvantara, there is a Vishnu's avatar that comes down. There is a separate Indra who comes down and there are Sapta Rishis who come down and the Sapta Rishis, progenies become the humans. So, that is the Vedic view and, and Gita captures this very well in uh, chapter 9 this. Sarva Bhutani Kaunteya Prakruti Jnanti Mamikam Kalpakshaye Punastani Kalpado Visrujami Aham. So he says, every when Chaturmukha Brahma is finished and his Kalpakshaya is gone, it is me who creates this universe again. So if you have to understand what Krishna is saying in chapter 9, verse 7, you need to understand this, this global concept, this expansive concepts of time. Now another interesting point is according to the Vedic view. Creation is only one eighth, whereas pralaya is seven eighth. So the universe is in most of the time in, in uncreated mode, and in one eighth of the time it comes into the created mode. Yeah. The current Chaturmukha Brahma's age is 50 years and one day, and his day began 2.3 billion years ago. Just to have that in, in context. So this Cosmic time is very, very similar, parallel with what the current prevailing view of the origin of the universe and so on and so forth. Yeah. So to understand the various types of pralayas, you need to have some background information on, on what are the time scales in, in Vedic philosophy. HinduKnowledgeAcademy.com will celebrate Vedic culture and present its philosophies to the modern Hindu in an accessible format. Our ancient heritage is our greatest strength. Through preservation and dissemination, together let us spread positivity in the world. Thank you for listening and welcome to Hindu Knowledge Academy.